गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन मेजरमेंट ऑफ लेंथ मास एंड कैपेसिटी इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द मीनिंग ऑफ प्रेफिक्स मिली सेंटी डेसी डेका हैक टू एंड किलो ऑफ लेंथ मास एंड कैपेसिटी एंड इन दिस चैप्टर we are also going to learn the conversion of metric units and the word problems based on addition subtraction multiplication and division so let's start with the measurement of length as we know meter is the basic unit of length which is represented by the letter m and we add prefix like deca hecto kilo dc centi and milli as we know meter is the basic unit and deca hecto and kilo are the larger unit and dc centi and milli are the lower unit and this is the chart of uh, units of length this chart you have to learn 1 km is equal to 10 hectometer and which is equal to 1000 meter 1 hectometer is equal to 10 decameter and 100 meter 1 decameter is equal to 10 meter 1 meter meter is the basic unit and then One deca decimeter is equal to one by ten meter. One centimeter is equal to one by hundred centimeter, and one meter is equal to sorry one millimeter is equal to one by one thousand millimeter. Clear? So this chart is very very important. Now turn your page. This is the measurement of mass. Gram is the basic unit of uh, measurement of mass, and we get the higher unit and this is the higher unit and we get the higher unit by adding the prefix like the deca hecto and kilo sorry deca gram hectogram and kilogram and we get the lower unit by adding the prefix like dg cg mg dg for decigram centigram and this is milligram come to the next one measurement of capacity so liter is the basic unit and decaliter hectoliter and kiloliter are the higher unit and deciliter centiliter and milliliter are the lower unit now students two important rules you have to learn this rule and what are these rules rule number 1 to convert higher unit into lower unit we will multiply by 10 100 1000 etc that means agar hame higher unit ko lower unit mein convert karna hai to hame multiply karna hoga suppose this is the basic unit and if we convert this gram into the decagram then we have to multiply by the 10 and we convert if we want to convert this gram into sorry if we convert the higher unit to great lower then we have to multiply when we convert the higher into lower units then we have to multiply jab hum higher unit ko lower mein convert karte to hame multiply karna hai but jab lower ko hum higher mein convert karte hain to hame divide karna hai ठीक है नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट आवर चैप्टर एक्सरसाइज नंबर थर्टीन पॉइंट वन सो वील विल स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कन्वर्ट द फॉलोइंग व्हाट वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट हियर हियर वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट द थ्री किलोमीटर इनटू मीटर दैट मींस वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट द लोअर यूनिट इंटू स्मॉलर अगर हमें लोअर यूनिट को स्मॉलर यूनिट में कन्वर्ट करना है तो हमें मल्टीप्लाई करना होगा ठीक है दिस इज एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन कन्वर्ट एंड व्हाट इज आवर क्वेश्चन 
we have to convert 3 kilometer into meter as we know 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter so 3 km is equal to kilometer is equal to 3 into 1000 that is the 3000 meter is our answer okay students now we will take another question it's a question number b 6 hectometer into meter again we have to convert the greater unit into smaller unit hectometer ko meter mein convert karna hai that means hume higher unit ko lower unit mein convert karna hai aur hum ise kya karenge multiply karenge it's a number b 6 hectometer into meter okay so as we know 1 hectometer is equal to 100 meter so 6 hectometer is equal to 6 into 100 the 600 meter is our answer okay students now we will take another question suppose it's number h 8.5 meter into millimeter again we have to convert the 8.5 meter into millimeter that means we have to convert the greater unit to smaller okay so it's a question number h 8.5 meter into millimeter so 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter 8.5 meter is equal to 8.5 into 1000 which is equal to 85 millimeter is our sorry 8500 millimeter is our answer now we'll start question number two convert the following here we have to convert 6000 meter into kilometer that means we have to convert the lower unit into higher and if we want to convert the lower unit into higher unit we have to divide it it's a question number two a what is our question we have to convert 6000 meter into kilometer now one meter is equal to one by one thousand kilometer so 6000 meter is equal to 6000 into 1 by 1000 1000 6 ja 6000 so 6 kilometer is our answer clear students now we will take another question suppose it's number e 1510 meter into decameter here we have to convert this meter into decameter it's a question number e 1510 meter into decameter as we know 1 meter is equal to 1 by 10 then 1510 meter is equal to 1510 into 1 by 10 0, 0, 151 dam is our answer okay students now we will start next question it's a question number three convert the following here we have to convert 35 kg into gram so we have to convert the greater unit to smaller number a 35 kg into gram as we know 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram so 35 kg 35 kilogram is equal to 35 into 1000 that is equal to 35 35000 gram is our answer okay students now we will take one more question Suppose it's number D, we have to convert here 12 decameter into 
sorry 12 decagram into decigram here we have to convert the 12 decagram into decigram okay students it's a number d 12 decagram into decigram as we know 1 decagram is equal to 100 decigram so 12 decagram is equal to 12 into 100 decigram so 1200 decigram is our answer in this way you have to solve all now we will start next question question number four and what is our question number four it's a uh, convert the following again here we have to convert 9000 gram into kg kilogram okay that means we have to convert the smaller unit lower unit to greater unit okay that means what we have to do here if we want to convert the lower unit into greater unit then we have to divide it it's a 4a 9000 gram into kg as we know 1 gram sorry it's a 1 gram is equal to 1 by 1000 kg so 9000 gram is equal to 9000 into 1 by 1000 9 so 9 kg our answer ok students now we will take another question so it's number D 63130 dg into hg dg means decigram and hg means hectogram so as we know it's a number d we have to convert 63130 decigram into hectogram one decigram is equal to 1 by 1000 hectogram so six three one three zero dg is equal to decigram is equal to it's a six three one three zero into one by one thousand one two three sixty three point one three zero hectogram is our answer clear students so in this way you have to solve all so question number one and question number two these two question is your class work and question number three and question number four is your homework and uh, in the next class we will start our next question okay